Hey y'all, Former Plant Killer here, Jessie with Living on a Prayer Flower Farm. In today's video, we are planting roses. Last night, I got in my David Austin roses. Oh, so excited. These are bare root. I was not able to plant them last night, but we are going to be planting them today. We've got three different kinds. So let's take a look what it looks like if you order roses from David Austin Roses. And we'll go through all the steps and getting them into the ground. So I opened this last night and since I couldn't immediately plant it, I needed to make sure the roses didn't dry out. So I've just placed some damp paper towels on the roots just to kind of try and keep them nice, good and moist. Now I've got four roses in here. I've got two of the David Austin Olivia roses, I believe. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Olivia Austin. Oh, that was not Olivia Russ. This is Rodali. Rodali. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Olivia Austin. And Lady of Sherlock. Yeah. Gradually lift you up just a little bit more. Okay, we have to let these roses rehydrate for a minimum of two hours. Um, I'm going to let them go probably for about four hours just to make sure they're good and hydrated. And then I think I know where I'm putting them. Not 100% sure. This is the first permanent plant that I'm planning on having at the farm. So we're slowly starting to move towards something of having more permanent areas and knowing where things are going and knowing where things are going to go. So let's let these soak and I'll see you in a few hours. So I think this is where I'm going to plant my roses. And just so you can see, there's the front of my property, the house. And there is the flower farm. Bowl bed is way out over there. And as you keep turning, there's the rock pile. And then here is our little area. It's right off the farm. I can easily water this if I need to, though I'm not planning on watering them much. And I've got room to grow more roses right here. It gets lots of sun. This tree here should provide some shade at some point during the day in case it gets too hot. And if they don't, I can add more shade structure, not a big deal. So let's get to digging some holes. My holes are dug. So let's talk about these roses real quick. So I've got the Olivia Austin, which is a beautiful pink shrub rose. She's supposed to get four and a half feet tall by three and a half feet wide, but it said she kind of likes partial shade. So this should be a good spot. I think I'm gonna put her in the back area. I'll do Lady of Charlotte in the front and then Olivia Austin, Olivia Austin, and then the other one I can't pronounce will also go in the back because it also likes partial shade as well. Lady of Charlotte goes up to five foot, four foot tall and loves the sun. So she'll be good right here in front. And then Rolla Doll, the one I can't pronounce, is four foot by four foot. So we'll see. And you know, if they don't do great here, I can dig them up and move them. Not a big deal. But first, we need to in the holes. So let's go get some compost and some hummus that I bought. here. I've got my black cow compost manure and then I also have composted organic hummus and what organic hummus is is it's just a bunch of wood chips and it's basically mulch almost but what it's going to do is it's going to allow those it's going to allow pores 
for the rose to be able to sell roots a little bit better and continue to feed it as well as that compost. So the first thing we do is kind of see how tall I need to build up the compost in the bottom because the roots, the rows, according to the David Austin book, need to be able to cover to right there. The top of the stems need to be right there at the top of the hole and I'm covering it up completely and I'm actually going to mount mine up a little bit so I'll actually go a little bit above the hole so that way this area shouldn't have poor drainage but I feel better having it slightly above and these are all approved for zones above mine so they should be fine here. So the next thing I am missing is my fungicide. Let me go grab that. It started raining on me so I had to go inside for a minute. But uh, my crow is the old fungi. I don't know. I bought it from David Austin Roses. It's supposed to have good bacteria and fungi that's going to help the plant establish. It's supposed to sprinkle it before we put them in the holes. But first, let's see how deep I dug these holes. And we'll start with the Lady of Charlotte. We'll start with her first and then we'll go to the others. So, what are you? Here she is, Lady of Shalott. I may have to dig the hole even deeper. Um, okay, got my hole a lot deeper now. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this to kind of scrape it up just a little bit. Loosen up some of that dirt. Then we're going to throw in some hummus. And, oh yeah! Chop the back of compost. And I'm just making a nice bed for this rose. And I'm going to lay my garden steak. And my hydrated rose that's been sitting there for a few hours. Now my bed too much. <laughs> Which is fine. It is fine. You can see my soil is just so compact and it's just clay and sand. So by adding this organic hummus, which is just a bunch of shredded bark and dirt, really helps with this. And oh my God, do you know what I just forgot to do? Oh my God, I forgot to sprinkle the stuff, the fungi stuff. So I need to take her back out. Dang it. <laughs> and we need to take all this stuff out. <laughs> I never claim to be the brightest. <laughs> I'm supposed to sprinkle it and it's not really attaching to the roots. I guess it's because they've dried. So let's sprinkle it in the hole. Take two. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe I did that.
Last step is water them. Oh, sorry. First, lightly firm the soil down using your wonderful foot and then water. Water thoroughly. We're supposed to get some rain, but not much. So I'll get these babies watered. So there you have it. I'll get these watered in and hopefully by May or June, we'll have roses. I'll keep you updated. And you know, this may be a yearly order. Just every year, add a few more roses to the farm. We'll see. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.